New York City, in a scene repeated 30 times a day. A fire patrol company responding to an alarm, just as they have for more than 150 years. The fire patrol, while not a part of the New York Fire Department, is nonetheless a strong ally in Big Apple fire protection, filling a need realized by some of New York's earliest citizens. In 1803, a group of citizens got together and recognized that they needed to do something to protect the contents of the buildings from water damage and fire damage. So they formed a group called the Mutual Assistance Bag Company. And all they were given was a, a leather hat, a round leather hat, and a Russian linen bag, a two by two Russian linen bag. And they would respond to a fire, go into the building, and take the linen bag and, and to fill it with the contents of the building and take it outside. And what I found very interesting was in doing the history of the patrol that they also had a key for the beds because in, 18, in the 1800s, the bed was the most expensive piece of furniture in the house and you had to have a key to dismantle it. They would use this key to dismantle the bed and take it out of the house. We go back to uh, being paid in 1835 and the force was increased substantially after the great New York City fire of 1839. At the peak of operation, there were 10 units, 10 companies, uh, some of our double companies, and we had about maybe 300, 350 members. Now we have uh, three houses uh, and 101 uniform people. Uh, Due to the express highway system in New York City and uh, radios coming in, we get better information and we're able to keep our responses to where we're needed. The Fire Patrol is a service of the New York Board of Fire Underwriters and a unique public relations tool for the insurance industry. Long ago, that industry recognized the value of salvage during firefighting operations. Last year, the patrol achieved savings of nearly $6.8 million for insurers. And it realized those savings the same way as early patrolmen, throwing salvage covers. Members spread 10,777 covers in 1990, protecting the contents of commercial buildings of all types in mostly lower Manhattan and downtown Brooklyn. This time, the patrol is responding to a second alarm in a high rise. we found out they had a fire on the 14th floor and after the chief gave us the okay we went up to check the floors below found out they were getting water damage and proceeded to have the other companies that fire patrol two and three come up and uh, proceeded to cover all the merchandise uh, all the files we could find desks computers try to keep it mainly from getting all the water damage and uh, we dropped Drop down the top ones we carried for uh, bags to keep the water from going any further. You catch as much water as you can. That's basically what our job consists of, is trying to prevent the water damage. While the fire patrol's function is essentially unchanged, so are the tools of the trade. Primarily the salvage covers, which are 12 by 18, uh, canvas or vinyl. We carry about 70 in each truck. Uh, we have forcible entry tools. Uh, MSA, uh, self-contained breathing apparatus. Fire patrolmen may occasionally be at the right place and time to suppress a fire. Many members have been awarded medals for life-saving rescues. Still, their role is not that of firefighter. Even so, some of the city's best-known firefighters have their roots in the patrol. The present chief of the New York City Fire Department, uh, William Feehan, was a member of the fire patrol for four years, and we're very proud of him. Uh, he got his early training with us. A significant problem for the fire patrol is turnover. 
Many members depart each year to join the fire department. While some of the replacements have experience as volunteer firefighters, the patrol has placed added emphasis on its own training program. Patrolman's training has changed over the years. At one point in time, we did have our own training school, but as we've reduced it, our numbers and reduced the number of firehouses, we've gone to on-the-job training. Uh, probably the greatest help that we've had is that we have more volunteer firemen coming on who have a background in the fire service and the equipment that we use. But for those who don't, we have maintained a video program, a video library that will address all of their needs. Plus, the officers are uh, mandated to conduct uh, in the firehouse training to address the needs that he sees, any shortcomings that might, might, he might see. You might think the fire patrol's only duty is property conservation. If so, you'd really be surprised to find out the patrol puts just as much emphasis on fire prevention education. Last year, more than 17,000 children viewed fire safety videos provided by the patrol and the fire underwriters. What's more, each and every school day, a patrol officer travels to schools throughout the city, spreading the word about fire life safety. Like so many aspects of the fire service, it is the immeasurable by which we measure the value of the New York Fire Patrol. A tangible $6.8 million savings in property, but untold millions saved in businesses that remained open and jobs that were not lost. The lives saved and fires prevented through the education of children. Within the annals of New York fire history, the fire patrol is truly a living legend.